course, we have to talk about Chelsea. They eased past Everton in that 6-0 tonking last night. Mm -hmm. Yet they still ended up in the headlines for the wrong reasons. Pickford's giving it away. And then Palmer for the hat-trick. Lifts it over him. And in. Why is Madueke? Who does he think he is, that kid? Grow up a bit, will you? Immaturity. Yeah, is it? immaturity, whatever you want to call it. The man who takes the penalties is on the pitch. He's throwing his arms up in the air. That was embarrassing. Andy can take a penalty at 4 nothing, 3 nothing, 4 nothing. Andy can take it. Steps up, left footed. Did you ever doubt him? Cole Palmer gets four. And that was Sam Madapace, Danny Murphy, Ali McQuist, Steve Bruce reacting to Chelsea's 6 0 win over Everton last night. If you want to have your say on Chelsea's win and, of course, their penalty squabble, 03717 that's the number to call. Um, we'll talk about Cole Palmer at five mm -hmm. o'clock because I think. It's such a big discussion to be had about how great a player he is, yep. um, how much he has done to your season, where you'd be without him, yep. where he should... I mean, he's definitely on the plane, right? Does he dictate a place maybe in the start in 11 for England? If so, whereabouts over Bukayo Saka and so on. So we're going to talk Cole Palmer later on, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Let's talk about your side, Chelsea. Firstly, after that victory, they are now, of course, just about in the top ten, still ninth, mm -hmm. but with a game in hand over the likes of Man United, win that game in hand. They could, in theory, if goals go, go their way, there's a lot of them needed, but in theory, they could get European football. They could get into sixth or even seventh spot. Mm -hmm. So let's just let's start our conversation with Chelsea and the fact that if this sort of form continues, I know it's Everton, but still, this sort of form continues, mm -hmm. after what looks... Like an awful season for your boys. It, it, there could be some light at the end of the tunnel, couldn't there? There is a little bit of light at the end of the tunnel, but I've been here before too many times this season where you look at the... the because we've got to the Carabao Cup final, because we're now in the semi-final of the FA Cup, there have been a lot of games that have had to be moved. We've still got to play Spurs. Um, we've still got to play Arsenal away. And there's a number of games. And when you're right, we have we, we played 31. West Ham above us have played two games less. You Your boys played one game. Uh, sorry, one game more. Yeah. And if we win that, we got, we got above you. But... I, I, um, there's no real confidence because, yes, last night was brilliant. It was. It was a pleasure to be there. But I'm not convinced that the fragility that we still show is is is, is still is still very much a part of who we are. Because at 2-0, I felt, doing the commentary, if we can see the next goal, we're in trouble. At 3-0, I'm like, God, we need a fourth. Really? And it wasn't... Yeah, 3-0? It wasn't until 4-0. And the, and the reason we went from... And what we're seeing, we're looking at a Chelsea side. Chelsea creating chances has never been a problem. Mm -hmm. That's never been the problem. Putting them away has been. Tonight, every, last night, everything fell in place, right? But I'm very much aware that this Chelsea side, we're very immature still. We saw it last night. We're immature as a team, immature as a squad. And you saw with the penalty situation what can actually happen to undo and unravel. We are very good at shooting ourselves in the foot. Yeah. Very good at it. So, look, brilliant win. Can we get there? Yeah. Will we? I'm not so sure. We okay, would you, would so you sure like to have Europa Conference football or yes. no European football? No, I'd like football. Okay. I'd, like, I'd like European uh, that's football. That's one of the questions we'll ask. Go three seven one seven double two double three double four. As I said, we're going to talk about Cole Palmer from five, mm. Everton, and the, the the battle at the bottom. We'll talk about as well a bit later on. So all yeah. that is coming up. So Everton fans, we will have time to talk about your side. Yeah. I just want to talk about what you you touched on there about that the penalty scenario. Yeah. So you've got the penalty. Cole Palmer picks up the ball, yeah. and a couple of players come up to him and and they try and take it off him, and in the end he puts it down and calmly mm. slots it home. Mm. Um, I just want to get your view as a Chelsea fan. Firstly, A, what you made of it. B, do you find it embarrassing? And also, C, uh, listen, I think if you've got a penalty take taker in Cole Palmer, who's obviously, you know, riding a crest of a wave at the moment, yep. I think you should just let him... He, he takes him anyway, so you should let him have the ball. But there is an argument to be had that if a player, a bit like Arsenal with Kai Havertz, if a player's not finding the back of the net and you're comfortably winning the game and you've got a player that's got another hat-trick as well at the bridge, maybe you should let someone like Nicholas Jackson... Who, who hasn't got the most amount of confidence at the moment, get on the score sheet. So what's your view on everything that happened surrounding right, first that first off, incre utterly embarrassing. I, I, I found it utterly embarrassing. We're an immature team. We are, and this is a deliberate pl ploy by the owners, we have, we're buying young, we're buying potential. And what we saw last night were, it's like a playground. It's like when you, you know, you're having a five aside with your mates on the playground. I want to take the play. Yeah. No, no. This is a professional outfit. I don't care what the scoreline is. You give it to Cole Palmer. But this is not the first time it's happened this season, I'm afraid. This is not the first time. And this, and Poch actually last night, I felt for him last night because even though it was a brilliant win and you got Cole Palmer scoring four and he's now top of the table, he's, he's level with Erlen Haaland. Yeah. The only the questions really that people, and rightly so, I'm not saying that, 
it's not about the penalty situation. Yeah, but isn't that Pochettino's fault? He, he, everyone's culpable. I'm not. I'm not saying. I don't that, think everyone the, is. I think the, the manager is. Oh well, the play. But the players. This yeah, but, before, I know, but if the manager's come out and said he Cole Palmer's my penalty taker. End of story. You're, you're absolutely right. But when it's four nil. At Deli Alley made a great point. I didn't see this until this morning right? I was doing the comment. He made a great point. It's all well and good. Everyone's squabbling over the ball at 4-0. You try and do it at 0-0. We play City at, the, at Wembley. Let me tell you, if it's 0-0 or 1-0 to City in the 89th minute, it's a penalty. No one will be doing that. Mm. No one. Then they think, go on, you take it, Cole. So everyone's culpable. The manager, I felt for him, but yes, you're right. He has to show authority there. And last night, I felt he put it to bed in his press conference. Not only Wacky and Jackson, embarrassing the pair of them. I'm sorry, that was embarrassing. You're squabbling like school kids about about taking a penalty. Yeah, I know you want to score, and that's not the worst thing, by the way. Wanting to take a penalty is a good thing, but you don't do it like that. Cole Palmer, get away from me. Slots it away. He's the best penalty taker at the club. He's now level, I think, 9 out of 9. And there's only 11 out of 11. I can't think it might be Yo-Yo Torre that's got 11 out of 11. So he's now second in line to the, the most consistent penalty scored in the Premier League. Why would you mm. not want that to continue? I don't know. We well, might I, get a penalty I, I, against City I, do, on, on I do blame the manager. He's got to take some. He's got to take no, some. Not, not some. All. Yeah, hold on. Hold on. You've got Jackson. I know, but if they okay. both, if they both, if know, they were your Cass kids, if they were your kids, what would you say? Well, well, have I told them? Well, yes. Well, they wouldn't be performing like that. I well, could only uh, assume. I could only. They, it's up in the air every single game as to who wants to take a penalty. Well, it wasn't last time. No, I know, but I can only assume Palmer's that. It last no, time. I can only assume that. I don't think you get people squabbling over it if it was categorically written in stone. It's Cole Palmer. If your two girls were squabbling, that's what it was like over something like that. That's that's how embarrassing I found it last night. Okay, I did. It was. Uh, we we'll talk Cole Palmer a bit later on. We we'll talk uh, the battle at the bottom as, as well. So Everton fans, you can have your say. But we're going to start off talking about Chelsea. Can they get European football? Do you want European football if it is in the shape of the Conference League? And also, we we'll talk about the squabble. Talk Sport Drive. Super opinionated sporting debate. Monday to Friday afternoon from 4 on AM, on DAB, via the Talk Sport app, and on your smart speaker. Talk Sport.